Now, in this lecture, I'm going to show you how you can work with MongoDB database. In the previous lecture, we understand how to create a simple cluster in MongoDB Atlas. Now, once we have the database and the user and the password, I can access my database in my command line. I'm going to use the git bash shell here to connect my MongoDB database. So I'm going to just specify here mongo command and just specify the connection string with my username and a password. That will just connect me to the MongoDB database. Now let me show you how many databases we have inside this MongoDB cluster. So once you successfully connected with the MongoDB cluster, let me show you how many databases you have inside it. I'm going to just press here a command db. That will just print all the database names. I'm going to just have only one database inside this cluster, which is to do database. Let me use this database and insert a one document. So I'm going to just simply say here, use to do database. As you can notice, to use this database, I'm going to simply press a command, use database. When I press enter, you can notice I'm going to have here a message switched to DB to do database. So now I can create a collection and a documents inside my to do database. Let me show you how many collections you have inside your database. To know that, just click on these collections. Once you click on the collection, you will notice here, I don't have any collection inside my database. Let me just add a new collection inside it. So I'm going to just simply say here, DB, DB is an instance of the to do database. Now to access this to do database, you just need to specify here DB, which is the instance of to do database. And now you need to specify your collection. So I'm going to just specify here dot and specify my collection name. I'm going to say here to do collection. Now, as you know, I don't have this collection inside this database. So MongoDB will create this collection for us. And inside this collection, I'm going to insert one record. So I'm going to say here dot insert one. Insert one is a function in MongoDB. This method is going to insert one record inside this to-do collection. So I'm going to specify here insert one method. And in the parentheses, I'm going to pass here an object. And then I'm going to create here x is equal to one. And close this curly braces and just pass here parentheses. So inside this to-do collection, I'm going to store x and specify value to it one. When you press enter, you will have the output something like this. Your record is successfully inserted in your collection. Let me show you. If I refresh this collection, you can notice here, inside my collection, I'm gonna have my record. This is my database, to-do database. Inside my to-do database, I'm gonna have the collection, to-do collection. And inside this to-do collection, I have here my document. So this is what we call a database. This is the collection and this is the document. Using the simple insert one method, I can insert one document inside my collection. Now let me show you the documentation of MongoDB Cloud operation. Using that, you can create, read, update, and delete your MongoDB documents. So what you need to do is, you just need to head on documentation. MongoDB shell is going to use two methods to insert document into collection. We already use this insert one to insert one record inside my document. We can also use insert many to insert many documents inside the collection. You just need to first specify the database name, the collection name, and the method called insert many. Here is the example of inserting one record in the MongoDB database. You need to specify the instance of your database, then the collection name, and a method called insert one. Inside that method, you will have your object with key and value pair. This is what we call a field and value. This is the field name, or you can say the key and this is the value and this is your collection and this is what we call a document i'm going to insert this document in the user collection and i'm going to create this user collection in this database just after that let me show you how you can read the document just scroll down and here you can notice you have a method called find the find method is going to find the record from your document and return it so to find the record in your document you just need to specify the database name the collection name and you need to call a method find. And inside the find method, you need to specify the query filter or you can say the criteria that identify the document. We'll know more about this in the future lectures. Just scroll down and here I have the update operation. To update the MongoDB document, we can use these three methods. Update one, update many, and replace one. As the name implies, update one is going to update only one record. Update many is going to update many records and replace one is going to replace any record from the document. Just down here, I have the delete operation to delete the document from the collection. To delete the document from the collection, we have two methods, delete one and delete many. As the name implies, delete one is, is going to delete one document from the collection 
and delete many is going to delete multiple documents from the collection. In MongoDB, delete operation target a single collection. Here is the example of delete operation. We have the DB, the collection name and the delete many method. Inside that, we specify the delete filter. We are going to delete all the status with a reject value. So this command will delete all the document of the user collection with the status reject. Now, I hope you understand the different methods of the MongoDB document. We will know more about this in the future lectures. So don't worry about that. Now, for a practice, open the MongoDB documentation and use this statement to create a new document in your MongoDB collection.